All right, Coach Michael Burt, let's try this again. All right, Coach Michael Burt, let's try Okay, there we go, folks. For some reason the microphone wasn't working the first time, so I'm Coach Michael Burt. Happy Sunday to you. It is August the 13th, um, and we are in a series of courses right now called From A to B. If you haven't picked up a copy of my book, From A to B, um, I would encourage you to, to get a copy of the book and, and work through the eight-module course that came along with the book, the webinar that came along with the book, because it's going to help you get a tremendous clarity over your life. And more importantly, the, the more I dig into a concept like this concept, the more I see how, how this concept could be utilized for other people and specifically utilized to help a person make a decision. The word decide, as you know, means to kill something off. A lot of people struggle to make decisions, which is to cut things away. And what we're gonna talk about today really is how you use the A to B framework to help a person find their magic number, which would be their ultimate desire, and then how to build a bridge between their problem and your skill set and to make it very clear and I'll actually show you how a person uh, initially sold me that they could help me get to 25 million dollars um, in revenue but they didn't have a clear plan and so ultimately I lost faith in the person I lost faith in their team and I lost faith in their ability to get there so so I'm going to show you why it's very important today to slow down and actually map out how you're going to help a person move from A to B and to actually share that plan with them during the prospecting phase with people who are interested in, in either partnering with you or moving to the next level. We live in such a, a cotton candy microwave world where people want uh, to move from A to B very quickly. And... and um, you need to be able to show people this is my exact plan. So let's do a little bit of review. This is for our Monday calls. Our Monday calls happen every Monday at 12.30 Central Time. You need to watch the call or go back. They're typically no longer than 30 minutes. It's on a very specific part of the sales cycle and the, the, the growing, the building, and scaling of a business. Uh, and, and we've been covering a concept called from A to B internally and A to B externally. So today's topic is called the magic number internally and externally finding a hot button and getting a person to a yes or b no a to b is an internal structure that helps you get clear on where you are that which you are bothered by the most and where you would ultimately like to go an ideal mental construct a to b is also an external structure that helps your prospect get clear on where they want to go your job is to build a bridge in their mind between where they want to go and your unique skill set to help them get there and why it is both to their benefit to move forward and there is a big consequence of inaction if they don't take action with you so this title is called the magic number and building a bridge if you remember in last week's course i said that a to b a person is moving toward b for three reasons number one they believe that moving toward B will make them happy. Okay, a lot of people move toward things that will make them happy, folks. Number two, they think it will alleviate stress and anxiety, which will improve their happiness. And B, they believe that it will help them progress toward their ambition or their goal. This is why total ca uh, cash confidence is really important to the equation because you're using your knowledge, your attitude, your skills, and your habits to build a bridge and a, a simple plan to help them get there. You see, they cannot get to be without you. And if you've ever seen me teach the guide, the gap, and the journey, the hero is going on a journey to try to move from here to there, but they've got all these problems. They've got internal problems. They've got external problems. The guide, which is you, comes along and brings them a simple plan to move from A to B. That simple plan comes from your knowledge, your attitude, your skills, and your habits. We call that cash confidence, which is a Dan Sullivan term, total cash confidence. Um, they know they need help, but many times can't justify their investment. 
because they're thinking too small or they're living in the past or, or something's not working in their life. Truth is, they can't get to the level without you. So here is how you help them. Number one, you show them the consequences of not taking action. This would be creating tension in their life. And keep their mind forced on stay on, on, on what's going to happen if they just stay where they are. See, I look at tr people who, who try to move me off the fence and they don't create enough tension, number one. There's a fear of loss. There's a sense of urgency. There's a low inventory. So number one, you got to show them the cost of inaction by not taking action. Okay, like it, it, at the Greatness Factory, I have 10 offices for rent. We rented another one on Friday. We have one office left of this category, one of this category, and that's it. And once they're gone, they're gone. There are no more offices. So I could say to a person, look, I can't help you till you commit, but that the first person to take action with a signed agreement is going to get the office. And if you, if you want it to be you versus somebody else, because it's going to be somebody in there, and if you want it to be you, then we got to get you to move, okay? So number one, you got to show people the consequence of, of inaction. Number two, you got to show them the benefit. Step-by-step step of how this is going to help them be happier, it's going to help them remove anxiety in their life or remove some kind of problem they have. Number three, you give them courage to take action. You transfer your enthusiasm to them because of your conviction. Okay? Now, if you look at this, my buddy Rob Luna calls this the magic number. Helping a person reach their magic number. Many years ago, a guy came to me and said, what, what's the magic number for your company? And I said, man, if I could get my company to $25 million of revenue, I'd be happier than I am right now. And he said, oh, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. The problem was he didn't show me a clear plan in how he could do it. Had a lot of charisma, a lot of sales skills, looked good. But very quickly, I began to doubt, does he have a real plan? See, the guide, the gap, and the journey. You got to show people the real strategy you're going to use early in the prospecting. The exact plan to get a person from A to B. You got to do your discovery, locate their ambition, locate their problem, explain your value, and in the follow up, instead of just following up and trying to get them to do something, follow up with the plan. Show them the exact plan you're going to use. To move them from A to B. See, this is a good reminder for me because I'm following up with people right now and sometimes I haven't shown them an exact plan. You need to go back to everybody in your farm club. Those are people who have indicated interest and everybody in your red zone. And you need to show them exactly what you would do step by step to help them reach their magic number or their magic um, desire. Whatever that desire is. This is the big takeaway from today is you need to go back to, and when you're articulating your value and you're using A to B externally to help them get clear on what their desire is, you need to show them a clear path. We call it building a bridge in the speaking world. Okay, so, so if you sign up for what's next, we're going to show you an exact path to move from where you are to clarity. A to B was part of that. The eight module course I did was part of that. The two hour webinar I did, an hour and a half webinar was part of that. Showing you a path to get there. This is what people are looking for. Show me a plan. Give me some direction. Help me get clear, get clear on how to get there. So the lesson here is finding their magic number and using your confidence and your plan and your focus to build a bridge, okay? So your homework assignment this week, let's go back to what we asked you to do last week. You should have 35 to 45 high value activities. You should be building more connections. You should understand that all the money in your pocket started in the pocket of another person. You should be doing more discovery, more thorough discovery. You, you should do a better job of building a bridge. This week in the private Facebook group, I actually want you to post the closings that you have. How many people did you close this week so we can celebrate with you by using A to B, the magic number, and building a bridge? These are three tools to closing more deals, building deeper networks, and making more money. 
Okay, now, a few things we have coming up. Coaching certification. This is where I build a bridge to monetization for people who want to coach. Number two, I've got What's Next, a two-day virtual. Every one of our members should be on there. It's, I don't know, $97, $47. I think it's $97 right now, but it will go up. Get the VIP pass. That's two days with me on nothing but what is next in your life and a direct bridge. Number three, Monster Nation, guys. I've got 130-some people already bought tickets. We're going to go to – my wife said, how many are you going to take? And I said, maybe 150. We're down to our last 20 tickets. Okay, so if you're getting in Monster Nation, you're coming to Nashville, you're going to do the private event, then then reach out to us and let's do this, okay? And then we got the couples retreat the 9th through the 12th. I think I got one spot left. So, remember our tools today. Finding that magic number, building a bridge, and showing them exactly during the prospecting phase of how you're going to help them move toward their B because they believe moving toward their B will make them happy, decrease their stress, or help them reach some goal that they want to hit. I'm Coach Burt. Everybody needs a coach. I'll see you on the Monday call.